All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to measure the displacement of this engine. This is a eight cylinder engine, so I've got four cylinders here and I've got four cylinders down over here. And what I need to do first is I need to find top dead center approximately of this engine. So I'm gonna go over to the crankshaft and I'm gonna turn the crankshaft. And as I turn the crankshaft, you can see that the pistons are moving up and down. <clears throat> And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that this piston right here is all the way at the bottom. So we go all the way down. So I'm going to go down. I see it sort of stop and starts to come back up. I'm going to go back down a bit and just get it in that happy spot. I can see also that I have this piston at the very top. And because this piston is at the very top and this was at the very bottom, then I know that I'm pretty good right there okay good so now I'm going to take my digital caliper I close it all the way I hit zero I'm going to work in inches and I'm going to take my digital caliper I can measure three different ways with my digital caliper I can measure the outside of something I can also measure the inside of something and I can measure the depth of something so I can just hold it like this. If I stuck it inside this bolt hole here, then I could slide it down and that would tell me the measurement to the bolt hole. Good. So I'm gonna take several measurements. It's up to you to decide which measurements you need and for what. So I close that all the way, hit zero. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a rough measurement of across the hole. And then I'm going to do take this other measurement. Just slide that all the way down until it makes contact with the piston. And again, I'm going to show you that measurement. So you, from these measurements, you should be able to figure out the displacement of the engine. So this is engine number two. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make sure that my digital caliper is zeroed. And then I'm going to turn the crankshaft so that the piston is at the very bottom. So we go to the very bottom there just before it comes back up. I find my happy spot. So it's at the very bottom. And then I'm going to take my digital caliper, I'll put it inside the cylinder like that. So that's one measurement. And now I'm going to take the other measurement, I'll put it here, slide it all the way down. And as you can see, there's only one cylinder, so you should be able to figure that one out. 